FDA has approved a device to help children with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And now UCLA Health is researching how brain stimulation is improving symptoms in children ages 7 to 12. Yeah, the treatment is an alternative to prescription drugs. Dr. Sandra Liu, she's the director of pediatric neuropsychology at UCLA. And she's here to talk about the research and the growing concerns for students with ADHD and the pandemic as well. First off, good morning, doctor. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. For sure. So, Dr. Liu, explain what the symptoms of attention deficit disorder are and how it's diagnosed with kids. So, an ADHD diagnosis should be made by uh, a comprehensive evaluation um, according to a healthcare professional who assesses behavior across a number of settings, such as home and school. Symptoms include uh, difficulty with controlling or self-regulating -reg oneself, such as paying attention, staying focused, and controlling movement. If, these child, if your child's problems behaviors are chronic or long-lasting, impair functioning, and make it difficult for the child to uh, develop according to kind of normal uh, developmental standards, um, a diagnosis may be warranted. And Dr. Liu, talk about this approved FDA treatment. Early trials are showing improvements in ADHD. So how does the brain stimulation help with the symptoms? Sure. So TNS, or trigeminal nerve stimulation, is the first FDA-cleared non-medication treatment for ADHD. And it's actually our research that showed that the uh, trigeminal nerve stimulation uh, stimulates the trigeminal nerve, which is located in the forehead. And this in stimulation of the trigeminal nerve increases activity in areas of the brain that we think are associated with ADHD. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, very fascinating. And I love that they're looking at other options other than just, you know, forcing kids to take medication. You know, let's talk a little bit about concerns with the pandemic and what kind of impacts that it will have on kids who do have ADHD. Sure. Yeah, we, we know that the pandemic, uh, when the pandemic caused the shutdown of the schools and forced everyone into this more unstructured remote learning situation, all children were negatively impacted, but especially children with ADHD. And children with ADHD, children with ADHD uh, had showed more inattention, more hyperactivity, more impulsivity, as well as emotional dysregulation than other children their age that didn't have ADHD. And so many children with ADHD are still trying to recover the losses that happened during the pandemic. And so where can people go for more information about this new treatment? Sure. Well, we have a website and so people can Google UCLA ADHD and mood and they can find out more about our program, uh, which is on ADHD and, and related disorders. And they can find out more about this study um, and, and there's contact information if they would like to participate. We're looking for children with uh, between the ages of seven and 12 and families, if they're eligible, will, uh, well, families will actually receive a free ADHD diagnosis uh, evaluation. And if they're eligible, they'll receive treat, free TNS treatment for up to four weeks, uh, actually at least four weeks, and up to potentially a year. So we are really looking forward to engaging um, the community and uh, actually communities in both Los Angeles and Seattle to um, offer this new non-medication treatment to diverse samples um, of children and families. All right, well, hey, Dr. Liu, thank you so much for the insight. Good luck on your study. Uh, definitely you. interested to see uh, where that goes, so. Yeah, thank All you right. so much. You're very welcome. All right. Let's